Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. Today is Saturday, March 18th and the reason I'm telling you this date is because this video probably won't be uploaded until tomorrow because my internet is extremely slow. This video is definitely going to be a different video. It'll be a very personal video for me. I've been waiting to share a big announcement with everybody for something that I've been working on for a couple months now that I'm extremely passionate about. And yesterday um, kind of sparked me to do that video and make the announcement sooner than I was planning on doing. So yesterday, if most of you know, I usually don't sleep very well and I'm usually up on the internet uh, searching for things or looking for things and that's kind of how I found all the animals here at Fletcher Farms Amarillo. And yesterday, Friday, March 17th, I was up at 3 a.m couldn't sleep and was looking through uh, Facebook. I saw a post about a horse that was at the kill pen, was owned by the kill buyer and was scheduled to be put on the next truck to be shipped to slaughter. This was at three o'clock in the morning and um, <laughs> Corey was already on his way to work. So of course I called him and said, there's a situation with the horse. The reason this one was so special and the reason this one stood out to me so much is because he had his eye poked out and was in really, really, is in really, really bad shape. So this is the picture of the horse that I saw in the post yesterday. I'll let you read what it says. This is the posting that I found yesterday on Facebook from Last Chance Direct Shipped Horses. The horse was scheduled to ship on the next truck to Mexico and he was owned by the kill buyer. These are some pictures of the horse. I did leave the graphic images out of his eye and this one's kind of from a distance. You can see that that right eye is um, pretty messed up and definitely needs medical attention. Um, these were the pictures that were posted along with him and the videos of him at the kill pen. After talking to Corey, Corey said to do everything that I possibly could to make sure that this horse ended up in a safe spot. So yesterday I watched the post pretty much all day long, offered to do fundraisers to try to get this horse to a safe place. And long story short, after all day long and not being able to get in touch with Shayna at Last Chance Direct Shipped Horses, I uh, finally got in touch with Shayna and found out that the horse still hadn't been paid for as of 3.30 p.m. yesterday. If anybody knows the horse world and the kill pens and the auctions, until a horse is paid for, it is not safe. So I made the executive decision and went ahead and paid for the horse and rescued it. Um, there were a lot of groups saying that they were going to go get the horse, but according to Shana, no one had offered to pay for it yet. So um, I bit the bullet and I, I paid for the horse yesterday. All that being said, we rescued we rescued this horse. So that brings me to our big announcement that I was going to make. Everything that happened yesterday has led up to me making this announcement and I was planning on making it next month, um, but I figured now is a good time to make this. So uh, over the last few months, Corey and I, along with three of my very dear friends that I don't know what I would do without in this world, uh, 
Janine Residori, Kara Ray, and Michelle Rainey, we have all started the Big Hoof Foundation. We are going to start rescuing the draft breed or big hoofed animals and we are going to make a change in everything that's happening with these animals and the way that they're treated. After yesterday showed us just how much these horses need our help and they need your help as well. So we have been approved for 501c3 status through the IRS. So we are a certified nonprofit. We are in the process of getting a website set up. Um, but after the rescue of lot number 269 yesterday, we need your help and your support. This horse is going to be, this horse is in bad shape. He, obviously his eye was poked out from what we can tell. We don't exactly know if that's what's going on uh, from the picture. It's all black and covered in what looks like dried blood. The Coggins test will be back on Monday and we've arranged for transport on Tuesday. The horse is safe at Shana's barn in Kemp, Texas. And um, I've made arrangements to bring lot number 269, who needs a name, to our vet's office as soon as we get back. She's gonna make sure that he's comfortable and has pain medications, um, probably give him some antibiotics uh, just for any infection. We are gonna do blood work and he will probably stay there the night because from the pictures, our vet thinks that his eye does need to be removed. But until she actually sees him and gets a good look at it, we won't be able to tell. So he will be there on Tuesday, and if he needs surgery, he will have that taken care of on Wednesday. The reason I'm bringing this up, and the reason I'm sharing this video and why he's in urgent need and we need, we need help with this one, uh, is the cost of this horse we were not expecting to take on. We were not expecting this. so. I was going to do a fundraiser for the horse before we went and got him, uh, or before we saved him yesterday, uh, to try to raise the money for the funds that we needed for his bail, for transport, and for his medical, for his medical care and aftercare. Uh, that was not the situation because he was not in a safe position because no one had paid for him yesterday. So we are starting a fundraiser. The Big Hoof Foundation does not have a website yet but I am in working on getting the website up. So temporarily we have put a Big Hoof Foundation on the Fletcher Farms Amarillo page for the Big Hoof Foundation with a link to our donate button along with some other pictures that I didn't want to put on the website because on this video because it was graphic. And But we are going to need your support with this horse. He's in rough shape. Like I said, he's going to need a surgery. Uh, right now we paid his bail, which was $11.75. We are going to need transport to Kemp, Texas. Corey and I are going to drive down there on Tuesday to go get him. When I talked to Dr. Amber yesterday at Claude Veterinary Services, she estimated the surgery, if we needed to remove his eye, um, if he would do it while we were standing up, it would be roughly about three to $500. If she had to lay him down to do the surgery, it was gonna cost a little bit more. So probably anywhere between three and $800 for the surgery if we needed to remove his eye, depending on what she found underneath there. After care and feed and everything else that we're gonna need, we need your support to try to get this guy on the road to recovery and healthy. So if you want to make a donation, uh, you can make that through the Big Hoof Foundation. It is tax deductible. We are a 501c3. Uh, the funds that we raise are going to obviously go to support lot number 269 right now. And any other funds that we raise are going to be to build additional barn space to save more of these horses. So that's our goal. And now this is just about lot number 269 and us saving him and trying to get him on the road to recovery and getting him healthy. So I don't want to see any more of these animals have to go through the torture and suffering that, that this one's gone through. There's no use for it. There's no reason that this needs to happen or continue to happen. So um, that's what's going on here around the farm. <laughs> uh, we are going to pick him up, like I said, on Tuesday. So I will do a video. Uh, I'll try to do a live video when we get to Kemp, Texas. And then I will also do a video uh, I'll try to do a live video from uh, the vet's office when we get him there to find out what's going on with that eye. This is our ninth horse. He is going to stay here on the farm. Um, he's going to need a pasture pal. He's going to need somebody because he's going to be obviously blind in that eye. So he's going to need he's going to need help. So we're going to be here with him 
for all that and we'll never leave his side and we will always do the right thing just like we've done with every other horse here on the farm so please keep him in your thoughts and prayers i can't thank shayna enough either at last chance direct shift horses for all her help and uh, taking care of this horse and everything that she does to try to save all these souls that are uselessly tossed to the side. She does some amazing work. If you don't know of her page, if you have Facebook, it's Last Chance Direct Shipped Horses. She actually goes to the kill pen where all these horses are and pulls the ones out that she thinks that she can get rescued. And uh, she does an amazing job. And what she does takes a lot of dedication and I'm sure for her, it is stressful and heartbreaking because me on the other side watching all these horses that go through that one lot is is heartbreaking so he's got a long road ahead of him and he's going to need everyone's support and prayers and love just like all the rest of the horses here at Fletcher Farms Amarillo so I can't thank you all enough for your support your generosity and your kindness all the comments from our last videos I I do read them I just have not had a time to respond to them and the outpouring of love and compassion and support is just amazing and we couldn't have done this without you. Your donations now are tax deductible. So if you want a letter, a tax deductible letter, just please send us an email to thebighooffoundation at gmail.com and we will get that letter sent out to you. So again, we truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and we will definitely keep you updated on lot number 269. Thanks everyone. We'll see you soon.